<sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, T2 here again, and I got a fall book haul for you. I went to the bookstore. Actually, got work gave me some Magic the Gathering cards. I might start using these as bookmarks. He said they're worth like two or three books, some of them. So I don't know. I'll put them over here. I was going to get the uh, rest of the Sookie Stackhouse novels because I read all the ones that I have in the early part of it. So I ended up getting Dead to the World. That's the next one. Um, Dead as a Doornail. I think that's after that. And then from Dead to Worse, I think, is like five, six, seven. This is number eight, I think. So I didn't get the two after that. Then I got Dead in the Family, which is. This one had the list. This one's two. Two after this one, I think. Anyway, I've got two more in the other room, hardback, that are like towards the end. But there's like so many of these. Uh, ended up getting, because they have like a six, buy six, get two free deal. Uh, I got Prince of the Blood. I'm not sure if I have this one. I don't remember it, so hopefully I don't. And then I got Flight of the Nighthawks. These are Rift War Raymond Feist novels. There's like 31 of these, so it's hard to keep track of which ones I own and which ones I don't. So, then I got, I had to get some other stuff just to get eight books. I didn't really have much I want, so I got David Gimmel, Ravenheart, I got Burn Revenge, Children of the Sky. This is the third book in the the two that I, well, I read the second one. I DNF'd it like three quarters of the way through. I need to go back and finish it. Uh, they're really good though. Now I just picked up Chris Evans, Burning Shadows, book two of the Iron Elves. So I have to find book one, I guess, eventually. And then, oh, they had some like Sense and sub Sensibility and Sea Monsters. This is the Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter kind of series. This guy started, he's got Pride and Prejudice of Zombies, which I own. Um, there's another sequel to the Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter, one I still need to get. And then I found another Charlene Harris. Like a sci-fi series. This is book three, The Russian Cage. Uh, I don't know if it's any like a romance sci-fi, but it says alternate history United States where magic is an acknowledged but despised power in the Gunny Rose series. So that was like three dollars. So I got that. Seemed like a good deal at the time. Then I went to the Goodwills. And I got lucky. One of the Goodwills, they had the bookshelves, and they had, like, the regular junk shelves, and they had, like, books on the end of the junk shelves, and they was like, oh, this, I need this, I need this, I need this. There's, like, three or four books. I didn't even check the other side. There might have been books on the other side of the junk shelves. But I was finding some good stuff. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. First one, this is one I keep remembering, Lore. It's like a retelling of the Medusa story, I guess. I keep seeing on everybody's bookshelf and ink like booktubers. Uh, Shadow Rise by Ted Williams. This is, I think, a sequel to those three white ones up there. Eventually, it's in that series. Laurel K. Hamilton, Dance Macabre. Uh, these vampire hunter novels. There's like, like three of them by her. Two of them at one store, and one of them at another store. Oh, uh, this is Magnus Chase. Gods of Asgard by Rick Riordan. Yeah, this one. Incubus Dreams. Sexy cover. Mmm. Delicious. I'll have to find the other one. I'll get to that bag. Um. Oh, this one was on the end. Philip Pullman Dark Materials. The whole, the bind up, three books in one. For a dollar. Golden Compass. Subtle Knife and the Amber Spyglass. I'll probably never read this. Because I don't even know if I would like it. But <laughs> there it is. Uh, I got an Agatha Christie. This supposed to be really good around Halloween. This one's more like a murder mystery than a horror kind of thing. But there's one somebody recommended me by Agatha Christie. But I, don't, I haven't seen it yet. And then I got For the Crawdad Sing. This is like number one book last year. I think it's like one of the best sellers. Uh, let's 
let's see. Michael Crichton, Rising Sun. I think I was missing this one. I don't see it. Now, fuck, I do have it. Shit. It's a different cover. <laughs> Whatever. So I got a dupe. Um, what am I missing of his? Like, nothing, I don't think. Crescendo by Becca Fitzpatrick. Sequel to Hush Hush. This looked like Fallen Angels, Half Human Offspring, Sexual Tension. Okay, maybe it's like a romance. Uh, promise that was an accident. <laughs> Cherry, a novel by Nico. Wait a minute, there's like a skull in this. Look at that. It's hard to see, like in real life, but on the monitor you can see a skull. It's just like a really cool, like paper cover. I don't even know what it was about. College freshman. Uh, meet somebody changed. He's a medic in Iraq. I don't know. I don't know what this is about. Seems cool though. Um, the Iliad. This is like a. Uh, feels like leather, but it's not leather. By Homer. I'll just add this to my classic shelf. And I guess I'll skip these there. I've got so many books now, I'm just out of shelf space, and I'm just starting to just pile things on tables. The Lost World by Michael Crichton. Do I have that one? I definitely don't have it in hardcover. I may have it behind my rum chata up there. Oh, you can't even see. Uh, up there. And maybe. And I got a Brissinger. I've already got a paperback, but now I got a hardcover copy of it. Uh, Christopher Paolini. Dragon Reborn. Is that Shadow Rise by Tad Williams right there? Holy shit. I'm starting to buy all these same books over and over again. I think it is. I might have this one too. Where is my. Fuck it is. Shadow Rise. I already have that. Dragon Reborn. Shit. I already have this. What's the other. No, I've got another. Little time book somewhere. I need to like figure out how to get my list on my phone of what I have, what I don't have. Uh, Alice Seabold, The Lovely Bones. Cinder. Been meaning to get this one. Finally found a copy. Halfway decent shape. A little dusty. The paperback. Tom Clancy, Executive Orders. This is just massive paperback. I feel like I should just get a collection of Tom Clancy here and sell them all. Probably never going to read them. Uh, Winter's Heart. I definitely don't have this one. As far as Wheel of Time. And Pawns of Patience. Cassie James. This one is something about saints and sinners. Holy shit. There's 19 chapters and then there's 26 chapters and then there's 21 chapters. There's 18 chapters of this. Like, is this four books in one or something? The collection. I have no idea what this is. Never heard of it, but I was like, that's worth a dollar. And then this bag. <laughs> James Patterson, Maximum Bride. I've seen this several, several times. First time I've seen it in this cover, so I figured I would get it finally. Um, uh, Laurel K. Hamilton Vampire Hunter series again. The Harlequin. Also, sexy cover. We got Bernard Cornwall. The Burning Land. Uh, is this sequel to Aiden Court or is this one of the Vikings saga? Saxon Tales. I don't know. John Grisham Camino Wins. Hardcover. Doesn't look like anything I've seen of his. Shit! 
Undivided by Neil Schusterman. I think I have Unwind. I don't have... This is like book four or five. Of that series. The Red Pyramid by Rick Riordan. And The Chemist by Stephanie Meyer. The I've got The Host. Now I've got The Chemist. I've not got any of the Twilight novels, so I don't really want to read them. But maybe I'm giving her a second chance. Like the book, I'm just basing the Twilight novels off the movies that they must suck. But they might not suck in book form. I don't know. But that's what I got today. Now I've got to find a place to put all of this stuff. And then the book sale is like Friday or Saturday. I think Friday you can go in and look at them. And then Saturday you can start buying them. Unless you're a member of Friends of the Library Club or something like that. Then you can get them on Friday. So I'll probably go Saturday. They were setting up. I went and looked in the library where they were putting the books in. There was like tables and tables and tables. There was like seven or eight rows of. But the fiction there's maybe like two long tables. So I don't know if it's going to be as good as I think it's going to be. I'll check it out. 